Yeah, I think that's just as retarded. I mean, it's a civil rights issue at this point in time. That's just the status quo has a lot more power. Same thing with mainstream America. Any any culture that has a mainstream that any mainstream culture is gonna have the advantage over any subculture, and that's just the fucking truth of the matter. I mean, that's why that's why a lot of people don't like. See, the thing is, if you live in the main culture, you have the ability to be completely unaware or just plain ignorant about all the subcultures. And that's just because of the fact that if you're in the main culture, you have this, like, the main culture is all fucking around you. You don't really get the chance to actually go into a subculture. See, me, I'm black, French, and Hispanic, so I was born into, like, multiple subcultures, and that was an advantage for me. And I was, it was an advantage for me because of the fact that I got to grow up with subculture. So the main culture was just completely, you know, it was right there. Like, that's the main culture. A lot of those people are on some bullshit. And, I mean, even with Christianity, I saw a lot of people on bullshit. Like Jesus said, like, help the poor, you know, you know, help the poor, feed the hungry, clothe the naked, heal the sick, and all that other stuff. And then you have, like, these right-wing Christians that come out or like, you know what, fuck Obamacare. Like, Obama's trying to get, you know... Better health care for children and shit. You know, trying to like, we ain't giving nothing away. Like, what the fuck? You, you claim to be Christian. You go out there like, you know, Jesus is my homeboy. Well, we probably don't say that, but you know, you know, I answered Jesus. Well, do you were actually read what the nigga said? Because if you did it, then I'm sorry. It's like they focus on all the like mini school shit. Jesus never once said anything about homosexuality. Never once. Maybe just because of the fact that he knew that shit was just there, but... I think it was that big of an issue that, you know, Christian had to come out, like, so strongly against it, like, all these fucking homosexuals. I think Jesus would have been mentioned, like, you know, just don't be gay. But Jesus never said that shit. And it's, it's kind of funny because there is an actual point in time that uh, stuff like that happened. When we started changing history, will history change itself because of the fact of a certain progression? And it's the Romans and Constantine. And that's when all the shit went to crap. But then again, you know, Constantine did what he did. To get in, to get control of Rome, to get Rome under one empire. So the Holy Roman Empire came out after Christianity. But what was I gonna say? Yeah, I I think that issue is just kind of ball crap. This is like this is a civil issue, and I think you know gay. I think gay people should have all the rights that you know normal people have. I don't want to call it normal, but you know gay people should have the rights that straight people have. At, at least if it's civil unions, you know I'm not like that big of a. I don't think that strongly about, you know, like, oh, it needs to be marriage. I mean, if it's civil rights, it's civil rights, you know, call it what you want. But it is a civil rights issue, so why don't we just give them civil union, you know? Why are you going to stress on that shit? And, yeah, the Greeks, I, I can't believe that shit, though, because they're trying to change history. Like, yeah, no, no, we, we're not actually going to pay any attention to this. You know, we're not actually going to realize what the whole shit means or how it came about. But, I mean, like, Greece was a fucking... Golden Age, but we're not going to talk about, you know, what made it the Golden Age. What was the, you know, s culture of that age? Because of the fact that we're scared that if kids, kids hear that, you know, the Greeks, so on and so forth, had gay, you know, actually, fuck it, Saturnalia, the, the transition from Saturnalia to Christmas was because of, Saturnalia was the winter solstice. It was a celebration about the light winning over the dark, and that eventually turned into Christmas to ease the transition from the Greek mythology to Christianity. But most people don't know that. And then the funniest thing is, is that, you know, Christmas is kind of based off of, and the holiday on Saturnalia, guys would exchange presents with each other and have huge gay orgies. That's Saturnalia. But we call it Christmas today. But I guess it is more representative as Christmas, the celebration of Jesus, you know, which, which is, I guess you can take it for that, you know, it's a celebration. You know, it's not necessarily the timing, but the celebration aspect. At least that's how I look at it. <laughs> but uh, uh, yeah, I don't know. I had a I had a gay sub I had a gay uh, summer school teacher, English gay English substitute teacher, fucking not substitute, summer school teacher, and he was hilarious. I mean, this this dude like coolest summer school class I have ever taken. We watched like eight movies. And they were all tight ass movies. I think we watched like we watched uh, Crash with Ludacris and shit. Like we were watching tight, tight ass movies, and fucking, I don't know. It was it was just all fucking like real, real deep, cool shit. But um, yeah.
But he was hilarious. I had no problem with him. And there is no, like, you look at a person like that who's, like, flamboyant. Not flamboyant, like, came in there with, like, you know, rainbow t-shirts. But, like, flamboyant to the point to which he's just, you know, himself. But, dude, like, that was cool, man. I remember it was funny, too. I, 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 asked, him, I asked him how long our paper had to be. And he literally said this. He was like, your paper has to be like a good dress. Long enough to cover the topic and short enough to keep it interesting. And I, 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 to this day, I can do the voice because of the fact when I heard it, I was just like, what? And I heard at the end of it, I just looked at my nigga, like, sitting right next to me. We, like, looked at each other for two seconds and just started dying. Like, nigga, what the fuck did he just say? Did he honestly just say that shit? And we just started dying in the class. But he was a cool ass dude. And there is no, like, little recruitment thing. If you're not gay, you're not gay. I mean, shit. I think, I think it's still the issue that too many people take this shit for, like, the extremeness, like, like, oh my God, you know, this is going to happen. If we learn, if we talk about our children, you know, it's, it's the same argument they have about condoms. Like, if we tell children about condoms, they're going to learn about sex. Nigga, they already know. <laughs> like, this is not like some huge revelation. They know about this shit. So why don't we fucking teach the history as the history should be taught? Like, the actual history, so on and so forth. But it's not, it doesn't work like that because of the fact that, you know, the main culture doesn't, want to recognize that shit it's going to be a while before that shit changes einstein said the only remedies to bigotry and ignorance is enlightenment and education this is a slow and painstaking process and you know that's the best way to put it it's just fucking ignorance and they're going to continue to be ignorant until they realize the subculture really doesn't vary that largely from their culture but it's going to continue like this until people slur others like you know what uh fine fuck it gay people should have rights you know just like black people wouldn't have rights today you know, I, I bet you, you look, you know, 20 years ahead, this is going to be like a no-brainer. But there's still going to be some bigots, and I'm guessing, you know, in 20 years, there's still going to be some racism and shit. So, <clears throat> it's just like that. But, um, yeah, good video, and wow. I can't believe Tennessee did that shit. But, hey, you know what? It's Tennessee. I'd be surp I'm surprised Texas hasn't done it, but, you know, Tennessee may be leading the way with uh, the redneck state. So, yep. Deuces and P.S. My grandfather, from, my grandpa's from Texas, but you know, yeah, he, he, he used to wear a cowboy hat all the time and curse all the time. That's my grandpa. But anyways, yeah, keep it up and what, let's be real. Let's give them the fucking rights already. Then, then you guys won't have to complain. They don't have to complain. You know, and the issue will be just that. Deuces.